In this video, we'll walk through an example of the indeterminate form 1 to the infinity. If we have the limit of 1 plus 1 over x raised to the power of x, and we were to take that as x approaches infinity, and then use direct substitution, well, we would get 1 plus 1 over infinity, or that is 1 plus 0, all raised to the infinity power. So 1 to the infinity power indeter indeterminate form. Well, what we can do with something like this is to take the natural log of the limit. So let's set this up first. I'm going to say that L equals this limit that we were talking about. And then I will say that the natural log of L, well, I'll just take the natural log of each side. So the natural log of L equals the natural log of the limit. And at this point, I can say the natural log of the limit of a function is the same as the limit of the natural log of the function. So at this point, what I'm going to do is take this inside part, the natural log of the function, and then rewrite that. And so we can take this x and move it out front. This is property of, log of logarithms. So the logarithm of something to an exponent means that you can take that exponent and move it out front, make it a, a product. x times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. At this point, I will rewrite this product as a quotient. So what I'll do is I'll say instead of saying multiplied by x, I'll say this is being divided by 1 over x. So I'm not changing any values here. I'm just saying the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x over 1 over x. So I've taken this x and just said instead of multiplying by x, it's the same as saying divided by 1 over x. And that's a true statement. Now, if we were to take the limit I'm going to smash a limit in here. The limit as x approaches infinity. We would get an indeterminate form. That would be 0 over 0. Well, when you have that indeterminate form of 0 over 0 or infinity over 0, then you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's do that. I'll write a little note here and say that we are writing L'Hopital, or taking L'Hopital's rule. And that is taking the first derivative of the numerator and the first derivative of the denominator. So the first derivative of the, of the numerator, that first derivative of the nu numerator is 1 over 1 plus 1 over x. And then the chain rule, we have to take the derivative of what is inside here. The derivative of 1 plus 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Now the derivative of, derivative of the denominator is negative 1 over x squared. And it looks like we lucked out here. We can cancel those out. And now we just have the limit of this. Well, that is not an indeterminate form. And in fact, the limit uh, of this, of 1 over 1 plus 1 over x, as x approaches infinity, equals 1. But wait a minute. That is not the answer to our original question. What we found is the limit, or the natural log of the limit. So we say that the natural log of the limit L equals 1. Well, there's a property that says that if we raise a, an expression E raised to the natural log of A, then that just gets us a. So if we raise e to the natural log of l, our limit, that should just get us our limit l. And that's what we're looking for, this. So e to the natural log of l, where l is 1, so e to the first power equals L. Or in other words, our limit that we were looking for, let's go back and use that same color to color code this, that limit that we were looking for is E, E to the first, or just E. 
So that's the process when we have some indeterminate form of 1 to the infinity.